Mitch McConnell wiped out small businesses and families. Gleefully, it seems. Check it out. Leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. In Minneapolis. Hey, Max. Uh, or excuse me. Hey, Andy. What's up? Hey, no worries, Tom. Hey, I, I just wanted to point out what's happening here in Minnesota. Uh, about four weeks ago, our governor shut down our restaurants, and then in the last couple of weeks, there's been a pretty big ground swelling of of open back Minnesota, you know, open the restaurants and so forth. Well, it was really interesting. It was this, this last week, a couple of restaurants defied the order and they got quickly their hands slapped for doing it. And there was some a report that came out in, in, in one of our local media sources that stated that one of the owner, co-owners of one of the restaurants that was basically featured on this website to reopen Minnesota and so forth was recently got, got in an incident with the police department in a nearby city where he shot at them, and now he's charged with attempted murder. So I'm really, my point here is there's, there's just this, this, this thing about supporting the police and stop the steal, and these people are mindlessly blaming our governor for all, for all these ills because he's this tyranny that, they're, that, they're, that they have to deal with. And here's a guy that's shooting at cop. And not supporting the police, but yet these people blindly support this blind issue. And I just wanted to point that out to your listeners. It's really frustrating just to see this day in and day out, just as a per- from a personal, just being a human being. So that was my point. Thanks, right. <laughs> Thanks well, for uh, taking my call. And, and, and let me add to that, Andy. In most of the European countries, and it varies from country to country, but the variations tend to be 5 or 10% variations. Um, the, the federal government of every country from Norway to, to Germany to France to Spain, the federal government is picking up payrolls for people who can't work. Um, in Germany, it's 80 percent. In Norway, I think it's, it might even be 90 percent. But it's, it's all in that neighborhood. So it doesn't even pass through the corporations. It doesn't require bookkeeping. It doesn't create expense for the corporations. The federal government is sending checks directly because they know how much you you earn because they see your tax returns, right? They are sending people 80% or 90% of what they used to earn. Plus, in most of these countries, the federal governments are paying small businesses what they would have to pay for rent and heat and you know just the basic expenses to stay alive throughout the COVID period until they can reopen. And as a result of that, you are not seeing on TV pictures of a bar and restaurant owners in Norway or in, in Switzerland or in Germany or in France or Spain, um, you know, going postal the way they are in the United States. But here in the United States, we've got millions of small businesses that are funded and financed by families, individual families who have mortgaged their homes and things to keep their, you know, to start their business or keep it going. And they are looking at seeing not just, you know, the, their business lost, but, you know, in most cases, these people have guaranteed loans to the banks. You can't, if you run a small business in America, it's damn hard to declare bankruptcy. For the last 20 years or so, the banks just will not take anything that's not personally guaranteed. And so you've got people in the United States, entrepreneurs in the United States, business people in the United States who are looking at not just being personally wiped out, but having their entire family wiped out, maybe for a generation or two as a result of this, all because Mitch McConnell in the Senate would not go along with the HEROES Act, which actually solved this problem back in May, a $3 trillion piece of legislation that would have done what Europe does. And Mitch McConnell and the Republicans in the Senate said, screw the American entrepreneurs, screw the bar owners, screw the restaurant owners. We don't give a damn about any of them. We just want to make sure taxes don't go up on our rich donors. And as a result of that, and, and or maybe as a benefit in their minds, now you've got these folks going, I'm losing, I'm on the verge of losing everything and I'm mad as hell. And I don't know who to take it out on, so I'm going to shoot at the local cops or I'm going to, you know, go out and protest or I'm going to, you know, whatever it may be. I'm going to I'm going to hold maskless Sunday here in my restaurant. And and as a result, people are dying. It's tearing our country apart. And what you are looking at is the failure of government led by the Republican Party. And I think it's a friggin crime.